Hey, how's it going everybody? Today we're going to be talking about the Marcolo C116 trainer from Amazon. We're going to be talking about whether this knife is good or not. And uh, we're going to be comparing the Marcolo to the Nabalis Morse. These are probably the two best trainers you can buy on Amazon. And I'm going to be doing a little comparison slash review on the Marcolo. So these are both on bushings. Uh, they both have bottle opener features. I think they have to. When you're buying a trainer on Amazon, I think that they have to have some sort of like tool feature. So uh, let's see, what do we got here? This one is... Uh, regular anodized aluminum. It's on bushings. The blade, I don't know if you can see that, but it's it's slightly, it's like a stone washed finish, which is pretty nice. The handles are a little bit on the thin side, like compared to this. We have like the diameter. Actually, you can't really tell that much on the video, but when holding this, you can tell that it is a little bit thinner profile than the Nobelis. A couple of things that I wanted to talk about just to get out of the way that I'm not really a big fan of on this knife is you have the star here. And if you look really closely, you can see how much metal is actually holding the blade together on these two points here and here. You see how there's like not much metal holding the sides of this together. So apparently people have had problems where it snaps or it's not like extremely strong on top of that. I do not believe that this is a heat treated blade. So because of that, the metal does tend to be a little bit weaker. Uh, what else? Let's see. Uh, the handles are are pretty slippery. But you're going to have that when you have aluminum. Let's do a little sound test real quick. Well, that's the sound test of it hitting the floor. Oh my goodness. Thing flew so far. Like I said, this thing is really slippery, so all your tricks are, are going to feel slippy slippy. You can still do everything you needed to do, but I just wish that somebody figured out how to make these things grippy because every Amazon trainer that I've ever used is like really slippery unless it's one of the G10 one of the G10 knives I know Marcolo does make a couple knives that are G10 it's got Zen pins these are press fit Zen pins I have not had any issues with these coming out like I I had some issues with my mark uh, not mark I had uh, with, with my Mako clone I had some issues with the press fit zins kind of popping out I haven't had that problem with this yet oh my goodness I'm messing up all my flips it does sound good do a little uh, test here. Uh, the tolerances are pretty good on this. The tolerances are much better on this thing than they are with the Nabalis. No tap and hardly any play. You compare that to this. Now 
Now granted, I've had this longer than I've had the Marcolo. So I have flipped the Nabalis more, so a little bit more than I have the Marcolo. But I really don't think that this is gonna have any tap anytime soon. But that's just what it feels like. It doesn't feel like there's gonna be any tap or play. Feels like the bushings are the perfect size. As far as the tolerances on the Morse, I might sand the bushings down a little bit and see if that fixes it. Because I'd, I'd love to get rid of the tap. I mean, when it comes to trainers, I don't really care if there's any tap. I, I just really don't, especially from Amazon. It, it doesn't really bother me. As long as the knife flips, then I don't really have an issue with it. And this, this knife right here, this is not oiled right now. I haven't oiled it since I got it. So this is just the way that it is. Some other key things that I think need to improve this, these spots where they milled out are so shallow. This provides no grip at all, like zero grip. The jimping, it, it's there, but you're not gonna know it's there. <laughs> it, it does absolutely nothing for grip, nothing. The bite marker, the bite indicator, is not pronounced enough. Like, look at the difference between the bite marker from the Nabalis to the Marcolo. I mean, that's a that's a pretty big difference from here to here. So you're not even gonna know that that is that. Like, if I went to go do a chaplain on this, I wouldn't even feel that. Which I can't really chaplain anyways, but. I'll learn some sometime soon, but if I was, you're not gonna be able to feel that. Now this one, you might be able to feel. Like this one is a little bit more pronounced. So if you're trying to train to go to a live blade coming from a trainer, then this would probably be a little bit better. And actually, let's see here. I wish that more companies took inspiration from this knife is this is pretty subtle the bite indicator but it's a lot sharper to the touch if this ever hits my finger i instantly know that i'm touching the ouch side because <laughs> it, it's it's rough So if I were to, yep, as soon as I go to do like a behind the eight ball starting from the bite handle, I instantly feel that I'm getting cut basically, even though this is a trainer. But that thing is super rough and you just know instantly. Let's see with the, this one. Oh my goodness. You know, I can't really I can't really feel it. Yeah. And I'm just sitting in a weird position. I can't do any tricks like this. Yeah. I can't feel the bite indicator on this one either. But for the price I would still get this one over this. I would still get the Marcolo over the Nabalis. Uh, just due to the fact that it's more pleasing to the eye. Uh, this one is a little bit, the handles are a little bit chunkier than what I would prefer. So they're both at the same price point. Uh, actually, no, I think the I think the Marcolo was a little cheaper. I think the Nabalis was about 74. I think this one's about 54 so this one's like 75 
with tax. This one's like almost 60 with tax, which is another reason why I'd still go with this one. I really do like the weight and the balance of the Marcolo. It feels comfortable to flip. It's actually uh, pretty similar to the balance of my Kraken. The Kraken is heavier, but if you're talking overall balance, I think it's very close as far as like weight distribution is what is what I'm talking about. The weight is distributed on this nicely. It makes tricks feel nice and easy to do. I'm looking at the camera and not the knife. Why I can't flip, but oh well. I never said I was the greatest flipper. I'm just giving my opinion as a newbie. So that's my little review of the Marcolo. Quick little look at it. Uh, I'm filming this in the morning. I'm not even quite awake yet. I, I, I woke up and then started cleaning and then took a nap. So I'm filming this after my nap and I'm, I'm still, I haven't even gotten, gotten myself awake yet. But if they just fixed the grip and the jimping, this thing would be fantastic. I, I would recommend this to literally everybody if they fix those two things. So that's going to be it for the end of this video. I appreciate you watching. And uh, stay tuned because I have a couple knives coming into the mail. I have one coming in today. And I have another coming in probably the next couple of weeks. The one today is going to be super exciting. I'm probably going to make a video short on it later. Uh, I'm not even going to I'm not even going to say what it is. It, it's it's just going to have to be a surprise. Let's get a little Let's see if I can do any flips for you guys real quick. Nope. Nope, it's not happening. I did not do any practice flips before I started filming. This is me going right from being asleep to flipping. <laughs> oh man. Yep, all right, well, I'm just gonna end the video here. Sorry for the bad quality video. At some point, I'm going to try to do better about my filming. I'd like to get a stand to put my phone on so I don't have to constantly hold it all the time. Maybe switch to a head mount GoPro or something. Because, I mean, I'm as I'm filming the video, I'm kind of thinking to myself, like, would I watch this video? I'm not totally sure. I... <laughs> I'm not totally sure. I got to up the, the quality a little bit, so. And my flipping skills, I need to up that too. I practice for like four or five hours a day. And still I struggle a lot. I don't know why I keep messing up my behind the eight balls. That is driving me nuts. Well, all right, guys, I'm rambling. So thank you for watching if you made it this far. I'll see you guys next time. Later.